Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and we got a quick unboxing. By the way, this is the Tucson TS-300, I think. I'll throw it up on the screen. I think it's the 300. Dual ground. We have a hollow and a flat ground Tonto. Titanium frame lock. This one's amazing. I really like this one a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Really, really nice knife. Now, let's get into this unboxing. That is... I'm so, I'm so upset about this, <laughs> but first let me talk about these Asher knives. So I have not tried this Asher model yet. It is a newer model. Um, his first flipper, which, well, no, maybe it's not his first flipper, but anyway, it's my first flipper from him. Awesome. Awesome action. These things are amazing. And we're going to talk about Asher's website here in a second, but this new model is really, really nice. Super, super smooth. Detent is so well tuned. I mean, these things are ridiculously smooth, like very, very smooth, especially this one. Crazy, crazy smooth. Now, the blade steel on this is S35VN, nice thin blade stock, so it's going to slice really good. It's not really thin behind the edge, not, like not crazy thin, but it is plenty thin, and especially how the geometry goes on this, this thing is going to be a fantastic cutter. Then we have G10 scales, really nice G10. Um, reversible deep carry pocket clip with a plate. And I actually think that looks cool with the hardware and everything. Then we have nice thin steel liners in there. It's not um, the whole scale. It's just like a thin strip, but they're very, very solid, stupid smooth. Detent is just crazy good, but there's no chipping on the flipper tab. Now, I don't know if that's a negative thing or um, a good thing because it... The detent is so well tuned, it doesn't bother me at all, and it flips so good. However, I do wonder if my hands were sweaty or had oil or something on them, if this would be very slippery. I'm not sure, but as of right now, I mean, I have no complaints about how it is. It flips just fine, and it flips really nice, very fast action, very comfortable in the hand. This is going to be a great, it's so simple, and that's kind of the beauty of it. And that's what I love about it. It's just a simple EDC design. The lock bar access. They had he has the lock bar that pops out just a little bit, which I do like. Very easy to get to. Detent is a slightly bit late, but you can easily get past it. But it is a little bit late. But you can push button it or you can light switch it, which is what I prefer. But yeah, amazing, amazing knife. And I have the titanium. Asher uh, Spyro. So I really, really like this model. Now, there isn't any of these available right now. I'm not sure about these, but I know he did say he was going to have some dropping around December. Um, so keep an eye on the website. I'm going to link it all below for you guys. So, you know, if you guys do want to get some of his models, you guys can get on the email list or, you know, keep an eye on the website. Now, I have had people, a, lot, a bunch of people bring it to my attention that his website is not secure. But... The thing is, is yes, the website is not secure. When you go in there, it's not a secure website. But when you go to check out, that part is secure. So you won't notice it until you go to check out. But when you go to check out, you will clearly see it is a secure, it, that part is secure. So you don't have to worry about your information, your, you know, with your credit card or anything like that. That part is secure. So I just wanted to bring that to you guys' attention. He is trying to fix the website where that is more secure, but during checkout, that's totally secure. So I just want to tell you guys that because I did have a few people mention it. Next, to the knife that makes me so angry right now. So mad. So, so mad. The Archbishop 3.0. So, let me explain. One, this knife is so awesome. It's such so, so awesome. And I had the opportunity to get one. And I fumbled the ball. So, I had just thought I made... Uh, what for me a pretty decent purchase which excluded this for me like made it where I couldn't get this because I had just made a, a, a purchase that was uh, you know a bit expensive for me however I didn't realize I didn't make that purchase <laughs> <laughs> I thought I made that purchase. I don't know what happened. I don't know if I, I accidentally just didn't purchase it or if I, I don't know. I have no idea, but 
I've been waiting for something to show up and now I find out I didn't even purchase it. And cue ball contacted me and told me when these things dropped and I had the opportunity to get one. And I did not. I did not because I thought I bought that other thing. And I wish I would have bought this. It's so good. Oh, I'm so angry that it's so good because it's not that I want it to be bad. It's just that it just makes my my non-purchase and my decision so much worse because I, I would have picked this, um, especially now having it in hand. So we have a 20 CV blade. This is the Archbishop 3.0 titanium frame lock. They have three different versions, the bronze, the raw titanium, and the blue, all in this beautiful stonewashed titanium. Then no milling on the inside. So it's just how I like it. A little bit of heft, you know, you can tell you got a knife in your hand. The detent is so well tuned. Like my malice, I love my malice. But I would love to have my D10 just a little bit stronger on the flipping action, and I would tune it a little stronger, but my reverse flicking action on my Malice is perfect, so I don't want to change it. But this one, the D10 on the flipper tab, is so perfect. It hammers out. You can push button, and it's so comfortable, too. This flipper tab, very, very nice flipping action. And then the reverse flick, nice and strong, very powerful thwack. The access to the lock bar, it doesn't give you a big cutout or like, a, you know, a cutout for the lock bar, but because the blade is thicker, it leaves you a big enough space. And I guess, yeah, I guess there is, yeah, there is a little bit extra hanging over right here. So, and then they chamfer it too. So it's very easy. The detent so early. So even if you hold up high on the lock bar, you're still past the detent ball. Oh, I love that. And, oh, it's so smooth. So smooth. The ergos are hand melting such good ergos i love the grip on this the jimping is done just right oh now the grind is a little thicker than i'd like but i don't care like one you could do a regrind but two it's not that bad i mean yes it's a little on the thicker side kind of like my malice but it's not bad at all and because they they clip well they drop the point down just a little bit right there you can easily do utility cuts. The handle is really nice for that grip. Then, you know, with, with this finger choil, you're not going to have to worry about things getting caught in the choil because you can you have a big enough one to just fit your whole finger in there. Now, it's a little tight going up here, but, you know, where I'd hold it at, it's perfect. And the comfort of these slightly contoured scales, everything is, you know, rounded just the right way. I do feel the clip quite a bit, but I don't care. It, it man. I wish I would have got this thing. I so wish I would have got this thing so bad. Um, the one downfall, though, the one negative is this clip. Um, I did slip it in and out of my pocket once or twice, and the clip is kind of bad. Um, I don't know why this is still a thing, why we are still, like, dealing with this. They put the cutout right underneath the clip. So when you go to pull it out, your pants get caught up, you know, in the, the you know, the groove right here. Why don't they just do it like the, the Tucson I opened up with? Look at that. Look at this Tucson. Bang, cut out on the inside. I don't know why that is a thing, but I guess we're still dealing with that. And since it's such a short, very strong clip, it makes it where there's no like real give to it. You know, it's not like real bendy. So it's very stiff going in and out of the pocket. And since it's stiff, it likes to catch stuff on this, you know, this cutout. However, I really don't care. I would still want it. And they did T6s. That's another thing. I don't understand that. I like how they, well, I don't know if I like it, but they did do it on one side. You have the beautiful back spacer. You can see it's just two pieces. This is a back spacer that's integrated into both sides. Um, but t6s why didn't they just do a t8 i don't know whatever uh it still doesn't stop me from wishing i would have got it <laughs> i can't believe i messed that up like i seen it and i knew i wanted it i knew i should have got it like you know i said when cue ball showed it to me i was like yeah i just made a purchase i can't get it right now you know like uh maybe next time what next time i don't know if they're going to continue to make these or not i, I hope so but Dang it, it makes me so mad. I should have got this. I should have gotten it. And left-handed people, now, I can't go like this and flick it, but 
I can go like this. So I just, I don't let my finger hit the, the lock bar and then I can flick it. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. If you see now I'm messing it up because I'm under the camera. You can also hold down low over the clip and get it. Um, I'm obviously not left-handed, but I can, especially once I get it down, I can figure it out. <laughs> And now I'm fumbling it all over the place. My hand is like wrapped like backwards. But anyways, you can get it. Um, I don't know like if people are willing to deal with that because I know left-handed people, they want to be able to just grab it and go like this. I know. But it's not quite that easy. Now I did hear from cue ball. He said his is real easy. Um, maybe his detent is a little bit more broken in. So I would imagine that might be a thing. I also did hear that Stasa's pivot is backing out on him um, quite a bit. I don't know if that's still an issue or not. But, you know, you can always use the liquid Loctite for thread locker for that because <clears throat> the paste seems to not work as good as the liquid just so you guys know so the liquid stuff if you have a pivot or some screws that are they just won't stay in even with thread locker you can get the liquid stuff and this stuff does hold a little bit better especially if you let it set for 48 hours that's how i always do it you know put it on especially with one that's being you know like uh one that keeps backing out i'll let it sit for like 48 hours before I ever flick it. After I, you know, adjust it. Put it on, adjust it how you want the action, then let it sit, let it dry. But I should have mentioned this from the start. These were sent in for sharpening. And, you know, I know, you know, the person who sent them wasn't trying to piss me off. I know they weren't trying to, but they succeeded. For sure they succeeded. I'm so upset. I'm so mad I didn't get this damn thing. But that's my loss. It's my fault. Um, and I don't even get the knife that I... <laughs> I don't even get the purchase I thought I made. I don't know what happened with that. Like, I literally have been waiting. Like, I, I should have went back through my email list. That's my fault. But, hey, it is what it is, you know. Crap does happen. But, yeah. Really quick, I'm going to compare it to my Wii Malice. You can see my Wii Malice is a bit bigger. It's definitely heavier. Um, it is a little bit more robust. This is definitely smaller, more compact. This is def you know, more comfortable for sure. Just because it's a little girthier, a little bigger. Um, but this is still extremely comfortable. In, in some people's hands, it might even be more comfortable just because it is a little bit more compact right here. This one is a little more broad, but this is more rounded. So that is one thing, even though this is still really nice. Like I'm not saying any corners are sharp or anything, but you can kind of see it, you know, but both are very, very nice. Um, this one, the detent is a little bit lighter on the, the flipper tab. It's still very reliable, but it is a little lighter. But in return, the reverse flicking action is perfection. And I can easily do it left-handed. No, I don't put my hand on the lock bar, but I have a bigger space here to keep my finger off of the lock bar. So, and you can go down low if you want, but it's just a little bit easier. And I can go over the pivot. So, you know, there is that. But I will say my flipper tab is a little more comfortable. Even though this one's a great flipper tab, maybe the detent is the same and you just get more leverage on this flipper tab. But this flipper tab is so comfortable. It's so round. It's just really nice. Even though it has the jimping, like it's just, which I like the jimping, but I'm just saying, um, very, very comfortable. But it is a little bit on the lighter side. So I do have to mean to flip it this one. It, it's harder to fail, a lot harder to fail. Yeah, the detent is so well tuned on this. So that is one thing. It's definitely more, it's definitely better tuned than this one. But I guess, you know, I, mean, I wish I would have got it, dang it. I just wish I would have got it. But that's the name of the game. That's just, you know, that's the name of the game. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.